little bit counterintuitive. So we have two uh, spring scales, and I'm sorry, the spring scale isn't very large, so you're going to have a little trouble seeing it from the back. And I'm going to knock the string off this pulley. All right. So if I hold the frame like this, and I pull down on the pulley, you see I can exert a force to match. Can you see the indicators all the way at the bottom? And that's reading five newtons right there. So far, so good? Yeah. All right. And if I hang this whole assembly on this one, you'll see that it reads about two and a half newtons. So the weight of this whole assembly is 250 grams, right? What is going to happen when I pull down on this string enough to uh, pull this down to five newtons? What will the upper string read? Less. <laughs> All right. Less than what? Less, less than, than five minutes. Uh, less than two and a half, I think you said. Less than two and a half? So I pull down on this string and that is going to go up? Well, that sure doesn't make sense. All right, so we have that possibility. <laughs> we have the possibility that it's going to, to go down, and on this scale, it would actually have to bottom out. So more than five newtons, which is the maximum on this scale. Any votes for more than five newtons? Stays the same. It's always impossible. It's going to explode, and I'm going to get injured. Lots of votes for that one. Good. You'll tip over. How about that? Tip over? Yeah. Okay. Check that when you're doing the demo. Uh, all right. Let's find out. So I'm pulling it down. There's two, three, four, and that's five newtons right there. What's the top scale reading? Didn't go up. That's four, seven. <laughs> this actually was my witness right here. Can you see the top scale? I can see the top scale. Right on about? Five. They're reading the same thing. <laughs> Who can add up the forces and explain why? <laughs> and the great thing about doing these experiments is I'm not teaching a physics class and I don't have to explain them. 